Have you ever accidentally caught someone naked? If so, what's the story? I was doing a Zoom meeting with a co-worker and his wife walked by in the background fully naked. Twice. I don't think she realized her husband's camera was on or that she was in view. I work as a handyman. I went to a house to install smoke detectors in bedrooms. I arrive and a woman lets me in and I tell her that I will be entering all of the bedrooms and I ask her if anyone else is home. She says no. The first bedroom that I enter has a naked dude asleep on his bed. On my way out. Inquire from the woman why she told me no one else was home. She apparently forgot about the sleeping naked dude. Edit. Whoa. This blew up. Thank you everyone for the awards. Especially the wholesome awards because the reality is this event was pretty wholesome. I was backpacking and I came across another hiker who had just been skinny dipping and was sitting on the ground naked to dry off. I stopped to chat for 10 minutes because I had stayed by myself the last couple nights and was starved for human interaction. Figured he wouldn't mind because being a free spirit was kind of the default on the trail and he made no move to get dressed. Just sat in a way that granted some coverage. We ended up hiking together for a few days and he later mentioned how he had felt pretty awkward. Oops. Also ended up giving him a multi hour lift back when we finished. So there no hard feelings. I was hanging some photo on the wall for my now XGF. I heard her sister leave the bathroom after taking a shower but didn't think much of it. Hearing her approach I turned to look out of the bedroom door and caught her totally naked walking from the bathroom to her room. She didn't realize I had come to the house so she screamed and called me a gorilla. Then frantically ran to her bedroom to cover up. Well. I have to know now. Are you a gorilla? Merida Mexico. Check in at front desk of hotel and give us key to the room. Walk in on one of the maids working her side gig entertaining a client. Got a free upgrade to best room in the place. Edit. Thanks all for your comments. Updates and awards. A hotel was Hotel Carib located on corner of C58 slash C59, one block east of the cathedral. Other than the free show I wouldn't recommend it. However I highly recommend Hotel La Maison de Free Diego. Two blocks north of cathedral on C61. For those of you who go to Yucatan but have only been to the northeast side, Cancun, Playa, Tulum, give the northwest side a visit. Skip the resorts and stay in the cathedral old town area of Merida. Rent a car and take a day trip to Progreso on the ocean. From Progreso drive east along the coast on HWY 27 to Zilam de Bravo municipality. Did it come with a maid? On holiday with family friends at age 7 and my brother and I joined them at their hotel room to watch Free Willy with kids our age. As I was sitting their mother walks out of the shower with a towel around her head and completely naked. The movie ended. Went back to our room and pretended nothing happened because my parents would freak and probably not going to let us go over anymore but the kids had Power Rangers on tape. I wasn't going to risk Power Rangers. Thankfully my little brother didn't see. Kid was a snitch. The kid saw their mother naked and acted as if nothing happened. I was at my girlfriend's house. It was at night. We were sleeping on the first floor. While her parents were sleeping downstairs. Near the kitchen. Thing is. I got a little thirsty. So I decide to go in the kitchen for water. While I'm entering the kitchen. It turns out that her mother, who was naked, had the same idea. We entered the kitchen in the same time. In front of each other, the two entries to the kitchen face each other, so we looked at each other and got the FCK back to our rooms. It was not funny on the moment. But speaking of it with everyone the morning after we had quite a laugh. My friends and I were like 7 and playing tag so I ended up chasing him into his mom's room and ended up seeing some nips that day. A friend of mine texted me to come hang out and told me just to walk in when I got there. So I get there about 20 minutes later. And walked in on him jacking off. He said he was bored and forgot he texted me. Exactly a week later. He showed up at my house unannounced and walked in on me jerking off. I was 6. Walked in on my friend's dad pooping naked. 
He gasped like a woman and threw his basketball magazine in the air. I giggled and ran away. He threw his magazine like a line flare countermeasure mayo. Was cleaning at work and knocked on the women's changing room to make sure I was allowed to enter. All was fine. So I walk in on a topless colleague and it took about a second and a half to realize what's just happened. I apologize and leave. She says it's okay, but it's not so I'll leave and then when she eventually comes out she offers me a pastry. Still flustered. I declined. I really shouldn't have declined. Edit. Thanks for the awards. I don't know what they mean but Thatis is very kind. I was staying at my sister's place with my girlfriend during a holiday event. It was a student accommodation with shared kitchen and shared bathroom. My sister did tell her housemates that we were there but one girl got drunk and probably didn't remember. When we got home we walked to the bathroom and we passed the kitchen. She was making toast bare naked and as soon as she saw us she dropped to the floor trying to cover everything. Awkward as I am I just went straight to the bathroom and left my girlfriend there so she could de-escalate the situation. But the first reaction of the naked girl was to scream at her. Asking her who she is and what she is doing inside her house. I work in a predominantly male industry, 3 women to 50 men. We have men and women locker shower rooms. But all of our uniforms are stored in the same room that happens to be located right outside the men's locker room. I walked in said room to grab my uniforms and I happened to walk in right at the exact time that the maintenance men are getting ready to leave. The double doors swing wide open and there it was. An unidentified co-worker. Naked as the day he was born. The whitest backside I have ever seen. The moon would be jealous at how bright his ass shone. I only saw it for a second. But that image is burned in my brain forever. Months later I was telling this story to a co-worker friend. He asked me if I knew who it was. Where the person was standing. Etc. I never saw the naked man's face to properly identify him. But he figured it out. It was him. Edit. I was around 8ish can't really remember but I remember living in a trailer park. A whole bunch of family members lived there too. So my cousins and I were playing around when we decided to go see my aunt's newborn baby. We knocked on the door no answers and then second later as my little cousin opened the door. The baby was crying so we went into the master bedroom no adult was there. Then I asked my little cousin where were his parents and he said dad is in aunt's Lucy bedroom, Lucy was little cousin's mom's sister. I cousins and I thought we should be good kids and tell my uncle that the baby was crying. So we barge into the aunt Lucy's bedroom. She was spread out. Butt naked. My uncle was on top of Lucy banging the hell out of her. They both quickly got up and he slammed the door on our faces. My cousins and I ran out of there scared and shocked. That's how we found out my uncle was cheating on his wife with her sister. In my freshers week at uni. I walked in on one of my flatmates. She had taken some. Substances. And had disappeared into her room. So I knocks on her door asking if she's alright. No answer. So I walk into her room and hear the distinct sound of someone throwing up. So I open her door and find her. Naked. In her shower. Covered in her own vomit. Just staring at me. I could never quite look at her the same way. Thanks she didn't remember it. I was at a school camp and went around the side of a building looking for a toilet. As I turned a corner I quickly jolted back as I realized a female classmate was changing and had only a shirt on. That was my first real life glimpse of ass and it was glorious. Showing apartments. We gave them 24 hours notice and knocked with no response. Went in guys was naked on his couch asleep. Saw a crackhead butt I'm naked taking her in the alley beside my apartment in Toronto. This really reads like the crackhead was both ting and butt i somebody. That's a visual. Not quite it was actually the other way around. I was in the bathroom in the process of getting dressed after having a shower when a friend of mine opened the door to the bathroom. So he opens the door realized I didn't have clothes on closes his eyes and shuts the door. Then from the other side of the door goes I'm so sorry the door wasn't locked so I didn't think anyone was in here. I'll just go pee outside and again I'm so sorry. 
I got dressed and we never spoke of it again. The family made when I was 10 years old. She just came out of the shower and quickly shut the door when I saw her. The ending caught me off guard. Delivered pizza for a few years during school university. There was this regular. Short before Xmas. This skinny dude with long hair was just opening the door with a very small red thong. Was like a roller coaster of emotions. He asked me to bring the pizza in. And his girlfriend was butt naked. Got weed cookies as tip. And left. 10 stroke 10 professional delivery not. Edit. I've got a friend who has mild brain damage from a car accident. He can function but cannot do DIY tasks. He and his family were on holiday so I took the opportunity to do his DIY for him as he is a proud man and doing it while he's there never felt right. So I'm up the ladder fixing a rotted window frame when his naked daughter, 19, came into the room from the shower. She's at uni and didn't go away with them. We both saw each other. Screamed and both ran and hid. I'm her godfather and have known her dad since we were 8. I left him a voicemail straight away telling him what happened. When he got back he was in hysterics trying to imagine our faces while we just stood there screaming at each other. Looking back it was humiliating and hilarious at the same time. When I was visiting a primary school and was talking to the principal in his office. I saw a beautiful naked woman parading in her house at the opposite side of the garden behind the school. Big windows. Second floor is was the principal's office. I told the principal and he laughed. She always did that and even the 12 year old kids in the classroom next door got used to her and had stopped caring. He had checked with the police to see if they could do something about it. But as it was her own house they couldn't. Semicolon. Edit. The principal told me he didn't care for her naked body. If it would have been a man. He would be interested. If I were the principal. I work apartment maintenance. I got a work order that I was authorized to go into the unit without the tenant being there. I did the same protocol I always do. I knocked three separate times. Identifying myself as maintenance each time. No answer. I let myself in. Walked all the way to the back bedroom where the problem was. And then I hear her bathroom door opening from between myself and the entry door. She walked out. Butt naked. She was maybe 65 or so. She screamed. I screamed. We all screamed for me to get foe of there. She didn't complain or anything. But now she tries to talk when I see her. I'm just gonna say it. Her titties were still nice and supple for an old lady lol. Obligatory edit. You have very nice tits for your age. Walked in on my stepsister naked. Didn't know she was in there and needed to shower before going out. There was no noise or anything because she turned off the water and she was just stepping out of the shower as I opened the door. What did you do? Step bro. Aside from family. I stayed at a friend's house and saw her topless. She is actually rather hot. And her hair covered her boobs like a mermaid. Turned out she has a relaxed attitude to nudity and doesn't see it as inherently s -s all. In college. I had a girl over 4. Activities. About 2am I went downstairs for some water. And hear one of my roommates in the kitchen. NBD. Someone's usually up late. As I turn the corner. There he is. Nothing on. Making food or washing dishes. IDR. He turns around as I start laughing. Covers his junk up. And says I didn't think anyone was up so I didn't bother putting clothes on. Love that guy. Stood up in my wedding this year. Went over to a friend's house in college to hang out. Knocked on their bedroom door and yelled yo. It's Terobzilla. I heard. What I thought was. His girlfriend say hey kid. So I opened the door and waltzed in on his girlfriend standing by the bed. Butt ass naked. Palms face up and an expression on her face like WTF. Right then it dawned on me that what she had said was I'm naked. I was in shock. And blurted out oh. You're naked. She gave me another WTF look. And I bolted back out the door. Fortunately she believed me after I explained my misunderstanding after she got dressed and came out of the bedroom. 
laughed it off. And both her and her boyfriend would yell hey kid. Whenever they saw me for a while after that. Shared changing rooms for boys and girls at prom. Girls sent us out whilst they were changing but I had to get on stage and the only way there was through the changing room. Go figure. Another time I was hanging out w a friend of mine. Who happens to be a girl. At her apartment. She has two flatmates. One of them was just done taking a shower. Then went to dress up in her room. Her door had a glass panel in the middle, vertically. She came out to hang a bit later. Fun evening. Edit. Stepsister had the door open as I walked past. I glanced over. Saw her. She panicked. I continued on my way. I didn't think much of it and never said anything. We never spoke about it. Nothing like the simulations. I have a good one. Back in 2015 I started working in a hostel and during an afternoon shift my manager told me to go check the 6 bed dorm we had to see if the guest that checked out in the morning had lost her wallet there. The new guests had checked in already so I followed procedure and knocked before walking in. Someone shouts from inside to come in. So I do. Everybody was naked. All 6 people were walking around and doing their things but naked in the room like that was the most normal thing ever. Two guys and four girls. The oddest part is that they weren't together in a group or anything like this and I didn't see them interacting again with each other in the common areas. When I was in high school I was dating a girl from a different school that I met through a friend. She lived at a nudist colony. One night she invited me over to pick her up and go out. But she wanted me to meet her parents. She assured me they'd be clothed. They were having a party and roasting a pig outside. It was winter I'm Florida. Which means temperatures in the 70s and dark by 5. 30. When I got there she took me into the living room and went to get her parents from the yard. When they came back in. They were both completely naked except for shoes. And her smoking hot mom was wearing 4 inches tall pumps which put her amazing tits right in my face as she hugged me. Then I had to shake her dad's hand. My mind went ballistic trying not to look at them but also trying not to look like I was trying not to look. Then they took me out back and introduced me to everyone else at the party. All naked. Not really accidental. But definitely weird. I walked in on my stepmother shaving her bush. It wasn't SI like in PRN. Used to work at Hollister Clothing in college. One day I'm doing the fitting room and a couple comes in. But only the woman has clothes to try on. They both go down the aisle and she goes into the room and he just sits there watching her change with the door open. I was super busy so I didn't really process what I was looking at even though it was right in front of me. Well eventually I had to walk down to one of the other changing rooms and looked over and there was a mostly naked woman just standing there. I looked at the dude and he just smiled. In retrospect they were definitely doing some kind exhibition thing with trying to get others in on it. Weird part it was mostly minors that worked there. X's sister was in town. Staying with us. I generally get out of the house around 5 a. M. And go get stuff ready at my shop for the day. I slept in one morning. Was in the kitchen eating breakfast. Going through emails. There she strolls in. Butt ass naked. Walks right on over to the fridge and grabs some milk. Said hey. And went back to the bedroom. Those women rarely had clothes on at the house. I didn't hate it. Reverse of the question but when my wife and I got married I moved into her place. Unbeknownst to me. Her mother had a habit of just coming over unannounced. She even had a key and would just let herself in if my wife didn't answer. Assuming she was in the shower or something. While we were in the living room. Going at each other on a chaise. To paint the scene for you. We were laying back. My wife was on top reversed with her back to my chest. Her legs wide open propped up on the arms of the chaise and my cock in her asshole whilst she was yelling my little asshole. My ass baby. Exclamation point. All of a sudden my wife screams mom. And hops off my dick and then I hear a door slam. We know that she got a very good look because later she tried to tell my wife how unhealthy an L was. 
Suffice it to say that was the last time my mother-in-law ever walked in when no one came to the door. Not me. But my friend's ex-girlfriend met his naked mum doing the cum waddle to the toilet. While she was doing the same. I saw a fat guy run naked in public when I was in the Midlands 7 years ago. The image is still etched in my brain. I didn't need to see that. That's why you are still horny. Not naked. But when I was in 10th grade I was the first kid into the classroom and my teacher, hot for an older lady. Probably younger than I am now. In retrospect, was walking around straightening the desks. She tried to step over past her chair and her skirt got caught on it and flipped up just high enough for me to see her undies. Crazy how some memories are immediately burned into your memory for life. Oh oh a core memory. Walked in on my best friend's mum coming out the shower when I was 14. Greatest moment of my life up to that point. Still ranks up there. When I was a kid. I was an extra for a short film. I was exploring the house where we were filming and when I entered one of the rooms saw an actress getting dress. I told her that I was sorry and exit the room. With the image of her boobs in my mind. I'm a man working in a female dominated environment. And they're all very open about sx. I'm not. Anyways I walked into the communal room to find a colleague with her fanny out on show with a few other lasses looking at it, I assume she had some kind of woman trouble, and they all panicked when I walked in. I was on a double date of sorts and after dinner we went back to my friend and his wife's house. We were hanging out drinking and after a while my friend and I noticed the girls had left. He decided we should go look for them and I helpfully suggested they're probably making out on the beach. He didn't think that was funny. After a little searching on the beach we stumbled across them naked and having sx. Once again I think I was the only one who thought it was funny. So his wife was cheating on him with your date? Not naked but when I lost my chip, to access school, I went to my homeroom teacher to ask for a new one. He shares his office thingy with our math teacher. I knocked and heard come and so I opened the door and the math teacher was sitting there trying to put his pants on. He said something and I didn't really hear what but I assumed he told me to get out so I eat it out. I was speed walking. Half across the hallway when he peeked out of the door with his pants half down. Yelling at me to come back. Math classes were really awkward for me since then. Accidentally caught my sister's friend's mom changing in her garage. I was like 12 years old and we were spending the night over BC my mom didn't trust us staying at the house alone. Lol. I was coming back from the gas station oblivious to everything around and just casually strolled into the garage. By the time we both realized we were there. I was like 10 feet from her. Bit o babies all out in the air. My whole face just turned red. She started laughing and didn't even try to cover up. I was stuck from embarrassment and didn't move but still watching. She rummaged through her clothes in the washer machine then put her shirt on. She walks over and says don't worry as she gives me a hug pressing my face in between her love bags. Then. Just. Walked in the house like nothing happened. She knew exactly what she was doing Lmeo. My twin sister. I didn't know she was in the shower when I opened the bathroom door. She was just getting out. I was like 15. Well now you know what you'd look like as a girl. Who needs snapchat filters? When I was 11 years old my next door neighbor would pay me to feed her cats while she was on vacation. I had the key to her house. And was supposed to go into her master bathroom to clean the litter boxes. One day I was walking back there to the bedroom I walked in on a naked man and woman doing the 69. Leaving my flip flops there in the hallway. I tiptoed out of the house. Hours later I returned with my mother to take care of the animals when that man returned holding my flip flops in his hand. He was the married little brother that was having an affair and using his sister's house while she was on vacation. He said he was supposed to be taking care of the animals for the rest of the week so I should not come back. Also to leave my key. He was a police officer too. This story goes on. But the main takeaway is that I saw two people in a SX act.